Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to make a um, a budget using Microsoft Excel. Now, uh, what this is going, what this budget is going to do is this gonna, this is going to be daily. I personally like to do daily because uh, I'm running out of money. Um, <clears throat> I can move things around two days that there will be some money in my account. Um, and I can kind of forecast what it's gonna, what's um, going to happen in the future and plan things out a little bit better. Okay. Um, so um, basically, the uh, first thing we need to do is go ahead and enter the month. So let's just say October 1st. And we will drag this down. Days. Now this is kind of a large version, and there's uh, definitely more simple budgets that you can make. But I really like to uh, I like to be able to see everything out every day, what's going to happen, or what's expected to happen, and that way I can plan around it. And it's cool because I can do different scenarios. Um, and I'll show you this. <clears throat> okay, so over here, let me go ahead and add a, another row there. I'm going to enter in my income first. Let's, uh, let's just we'll title this primary income. And Let's just say we get paid on the first and the fifteenth of every month, and we'll just say it's uh, fifteen hundred dollars. We can make these dollar symbols by going up here with one dollar, if you want, or if not, it's all it's all up to you. Okay, so I will copy this, and I'll also place that under October fifteenth. Right there, and then double click here. That way, it shows so you see the extra money. Okay, so we have our primary income. Now let's uh, let's say we have some rental income as well. Okay, and we receive that in the first of the month. And let's say it's nine hundred. Okay, so we have um, two sources of income. Okay, now let's um, work on our expenses. Let's say that we have rent for not rental income. I copied that over. Got to be careful about that. Rent. Let's say our rent is um, five hundred. some other expenses, let's say uh, car payment. Food. Now what we want to do for food is um Say we go grocery shopping on the first and the fifteenth, and we get a paycheck. So we'll say two hundred, and over here on the fifteenth, two hundred. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, some other expenses. <coughs> Entertainment or gas. Especially here in Tampa, that's where I live. Um, I'm going to say I spend, let's just say I have to fill up every seven days, fill up about once. Every seven days, and we'll just say one of the days of every month. Okay, actually, I make it easier for preparing things, though. But you can obviously fill these in to your specified date. Uh, That's what's good about this, you can move things around. Few days. Okay. Let's have an account for uh, entertainment. I like to have fun, but not too much fun. Let's just say every time I get my paycheck, I'm going to give myself $400 in the campaign. Then we'll be able to see what. Live off of. Okay. Do that we just entered this fourteen or ten. Another thing we can do. Also get a view. And three. Slide this over. See that? I can see what you each row is designated for. So we'll go ahead and keep it that way. How about that? Okay, so you have entertainment. And then, right here, let's say, uh, this wing. Vacation, and then down here we'll put savings. Okay. And I'm gonna, now I'm going to kind of make this neat looking. Up here, I'm going to give these border and some color as I did up here. And now we're going to give this all border all the way to the 31st. Now, this is going to be pretty much how much excess cash you have per day. And you're going to enter in a formula here. Now, you can do this several different ways, but I'll just show you the first the way I do it. You do it. Primary income plus rental income minus. Let me show you this. Equals sum of these two minus sum of all your expenses, including savings. Even though savings is not an expense coming out of your spending income. Okay. So now what we need to do is this is going to 